All right, folks. So we have the lake returns conundrum. So remember the last one, the last conundrum that we listened to, it was the lake died and now the lake is returning. So let's find out what's going to go on in this conundrum. You'll want to make sure that you have gotten this worksheet out of your blue folder, the Lake Returns Conundrum. <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. Conundrums, created by Astra Nova School. The Lake Returns Conundrum. All right. I've got a question for you. Imagine this. There is a large lake next to a small town. Unfortunately, the lake died after years of pollution from the town's largest corporation. When the corporation closed, most people in the town moved away. Years later, a new corporation, looking to find a cheap headquarters, takes over the abandoned factory. They hire people in the town for their business, which, thankfully, does not dump harmful chemicals in the lake. The puppet master, noticing the success of the new corporation and always looking for a good business opportunity, hires scientists to research the lake. Could the lake really be brought back to life? The scientists study the lake and determine that the lake can be saved, but it will require everyone in the town, including the corporation, to follow very specific rules for the next 10 years. The media covered the story of the town's challenge in great detail, they report on the new corporation bringing jobs back to the town, the brilliant scientists creating a roadmap to save the lake, and the committed citizens who are doing their part to follow the rules. Convinced by the media's excellent coverage, the politicians recognize that the town needs their help, so they support the scientists' plan and fight to get money to help rebuild the town. The voters, who have lived in the town through tough times, follow the scientists' rules to keep the lake healthy, and they vote for politicians that support the lake and town restoration projects. Ten years later, the lake lives and the town is reborn. So, who deserves the most credit? Option A, the corporation. Option B, the scientists. Option C, the puppet master. Option D, the media. Option E, the politicians. Option F, the voters. Mm. Okay. So this is a good one. So now we have a lake that has come back to life. And now we have to figure out who is going to be the one responsible. So just like last, um, yesterday on Thursday, is that right? Your conundrum number two. No, this is Thursday. So your conundrum on Wednesday um, was the lake conundrum. Just like with that um, conundrum, you want to not just say who you think is the one that deserves the most credit for the lake coming back. You need to also include why. And I want a good statement of why you think that. So was it the corporation who brought attention back to the lake because they started a successful business there? Or was it the scientists who discovered how to bring the lake back to life? Was it the puppet master who instigated the scientific research? Was it the media who did all of the coverage? Was it the politicians who voted legislation in that allowed for funding to do those projects? Or was it the voters who actually did the work and supported the politicians and supported the scientific research? Hmm. I wonder what you're going to say. I have an idea of what I think, but I'm wondering what you think. So I will see you soon. Don't forget to put this back when you're done. And here comes our friendly drone again. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you soon.